Hey all, Wild for Games here, your Streamlab advisor to help you with everything you need to know about Streamlabs. And in today's video, I'm jumping on the bandwagon to help you out with the best settings you need to have if you're gonna stream Fortnite Chapter 2. So let's get right into it. Today we're gonna go over how to improve your settings while streaming Fortnite on Streamlabs OBS with Windows 10 on a single PC. Now please keep in mind, if you stream from the same PC that you game from, you can have reduced performance, which is why it's highly recommended to have a separate streaming and gaming PC, so that way you can be best optimized to produce the content that you want. Even with that said, I got your back because I'm gonna show you the best settings you need to have if you're streaming and gaming from the same PC, so let's go. Let's start out with your Fortnite settings. Be sure to set the frame rate limit to match the refresh rate of your monitor. Remember, if the FPS is higher than your refresh rate, your display will not be able to display all of the frames your computer is producing. To obtain the best streaming settings, all you simply need to do is turn down your Fortnite settings as much as possible. This will free up resources that can hugely benefit your streaming software. The settings we recommend turning as low as possible include view distance, shadows, anti-aliasing, textures, effects, and post-processing. Make sure you turn off motion blur and since your refresh limit should match your refresh rate of your screen, you can also turn off VSync. Windows 10 actually has a game mode that could really benefit a lot of games out there. Unfortunately, it can also negatively affect a lot of games and streaming softwares out there. That's because it just takes up so many resources. All you need to do to disable this is navigate to the settings tab and click on the gaming section. Toggle off the section labeled record game clips, screenshots, and broadcast using game bar. Like any streaming software, having too many scenes and sources can negatively affect the impact of your streaming software. The best advice here is simply get rid of the scenes and sources that you're not utilizing or that are not helping you grow on your stream. All you need to do is just delete these resources by right clicking on them and hitting delete. This will allow you to free up resources for your streaming software. Double check your Streamlabs optimize encoder settings before you go live. Game Aware Video Encoding automatically chooses the best encoding setting for you in Streamlabs OBS based on the actual video game you're playing. It's a process that's only developed in Streamlabs OBS, which is another reason why it's top pick for so many streamers out there. The game optimized encoding settings are currently only available when using Software X264 encoding and using Twitch as a streaming service. If you use both, you can enable the used optimized encoder settings found in the go live pop-up where you set your game and title these are just some simple tips and tricks to help you with your new adventures on Fortnite chapter 2 and good luck if you need any more help don't worry here at Streamlabs we're here to help you out I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that's gonna show you how to use Streamlabs to the best of its ability until next time my name is wild for games and I will see you all in the next Streamlabs support video Coming up real soon. Take care all and peace.